Good afternoon, students. So this time, um, we will be discussing, or I will be discussing, a new topic in our subject, um, organic chemistry, okay? This time we will be talking about definitions and uh, properties of acids and bases. So before we go to our discussion, let us first familiarize ourselves with uh, the lesson objectives for this um, discussion. Okay, so first after this um, discussion, you are expected to describe the general properties of acids and bases and to compare the three ways to define them. Okay. So the first definition that we are going to talk about is all about uh, the Arrhenius acid and bases. This is uh, a definition given to us by Vante Arrhenius. Okay, before we go to the discussion of the definition of um, Arrhenius acid and base, uh, let us familiarize ourselves also with these key terms. Okay, first one is hydronium, which is the hydrated hydrogen ion. Uh, with a chemical formula of H3O that has a positive charge, okay? And we also have acidity, which is a measure of the overall concentration of hydrogen ions in solution, and alkalinity, which is a measure of the overall concentration of hydroxide ions in solution, okay? So according to Arrhenius, an acid is a substance that dissociates in water to form hydrogen ions, okay? When we say dissociates, ibig sabihin yan is to disintegrate, to uh, break, or kiniamungkago niya, no? Okay? A substance that breaks or kiniamubulag ang saka substance in the presence of water and then to form hydrogen ions. Again, when we say dissociate, uh, mubulag, mag-separate sa isa ka substance and then... Um, in the presence of water. So, an acid is a substance na magbulag or magbreak in water to form hydrogen ions. That is why an acid also, according to Arrhenius, uh, increases the concentration of hydrogen ions in an aqueous um, solution because an acid uh, which dissociates in water forms hydrogen, it also increases the concentration of hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution, okay? Example of an acid is hydrochloric acid at saka yung hydrobromic acid, okay? So if we are going to uh, put that acid no, in a water, say for example, um, hydrochloric acid, uh, let me erase that one. Mm -hmm. um, hydrochloric acid, yes. Say for example, we put hydrochloric acid in a water. Okay, so an arrow, no, in chemistry, an arrow indicates a chemical reaction, okay? And then here, water is our catalyst in this reaction. So uh, if we're going to put water, uh, I mean um, hydrochloric acid in, in water, um, it will yield a hydrogen ion, okay? It will yield a hydrogen ion, at saka... Um, a chlorine ion chlorine ion which is a negatively charged ion okay so again based on the definition of Arrhenius no, an acid is a substance in which in this case the hydrochloric acid no, that dissociates or breaks up or no, disintegrate or nagbulag like separate in water okay in water which is this one to form hydrogen ions, okay? Ito na yun. Hydrogen ions, uh, that means it also increases the concentration of hydrogen ions. But um, hydrogen ions does not exist freely in aqueous solution. So, they pasabot na ng, uh, does not exist freely in an aqueous solution. That means the hydrogen cannot be um, detected or cannot exist in an aqueous solution by itself, meaning it needs to form a bond with um, another molecule or another atom. 
So in this case, uh, the hydrogen ion will form a bond with um, water because it does not exist freely. That is why it will form a bond with water. So um, the chemical uh, reaction now ngayon will be like this one. So hydrochloric acid, um, tsaka ni water will form a chlorine ion at tsaka ng isang hydronium ion. Okay? So if you can see here, ang naging from H2O, okay, from H2O, dalawa lang yung hydrogen dito sa ating reactants, no? But, nag-form siya ng hydronium ion kasi nga, yung isang hydrogen atom comes from the hydrochloric acid or hydrogen proton comes from the hydrochloric acid which is our acid here in the reactant. Okay? So again, um, hydrogen ions does not exist exist freely in an aqueous solution that that's why it needs to bond with another molecule or another atom uh, for them to um, exist freely in an aqueous solution in this case yung um, molecule na nakipagbond si hydrogen ion is water okay that is why nagkaroon tayo ng hydronium ion which is HTO plus which is a positive um, a positive um, molecule positive char positively charged um, molecule okay so nanong positively charged molecule is because hydronium hydrogen ion is a positively positively charged um, ion that means um, if you can still remember hydrogen uh, only have um, only has one proton that means it only has um, one electron as well but in this case in the dissociation of hydrochloric acid yung electron ni hydrogen is nabilin siya kang chlorine that is why si chlorine nahimo siyang positively charged nga ion that means um, sobra ang iyahang electrons compared to its protons okay that is why nahimo siyang negatively charged si chlorine okay According to um, Arrhenius, a base naman is a substance that dissociates, again dissociates, in water to form hydroxide ions or OH. You know, it's a negatively charged, charged ion. That is why a base also increases the concentration of hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution. Okay, tungod um, a base uh, which dissociates in the water forms a hydroxide ions um, that means it also increases the concentration of hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution okay example of bases are sodium um, hydroxide and we also have potassium hydroxide so if we're going to put sodium hydroxide um, in your water which is our catalyst okay water it will yield a product of a sodium ion, okay, which is a positively charged ion, a chaka, mm -hmm. a hydroxide ion, which is a negatively charged ion. So again, um, bases, when it is dissociated in water, will form hydrogen ions, in which case, ito yan. Okay? That is why it increases the concentration of hyd um, hydroxide ions uh, in an aqueous solution. The same happens with potassium hydroxide. Okay? Potassium hydroxide. Okay? Again, the catalyst is also water. It will yield a product of um, a pot potassium which is positively charged a potassium ion at saka ng hydroxide ion which is negatively charged okay so that is the definition of arrhenius of acids and base but there there are limitations no in the definition given by arrhenius okay so the the, the limitation is that the arrhenius definitions of acidity and alkalinity or yung acid at yung base are restricted to aqueous solution. That means 
um, you cannot really identify if a if a molecule or a compound or substance is kini ang acid siya or base if you will not put them in a water no to form uh, either hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions that is the limitation of the Arrhenius definition okay so according to Arrhenius an acid base reaction is defined as the reaction of a proton which is a in this case you know when you say proton um, it talks about hydrogen ion okay kay wala na may electron si hydrogen ion okay it only has a neutron at saka yung proton so according to again Arrhenius an acid base reaction is defined as the reaction of proton or hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion to form water okay hydrogen ion or the proton at saka ni um, hydroxide ion to form water tubing okay that is why we have H2O that means uh, there is two atoms of hydrogen okay from this one one and then two at saka one atom of oxygen uh, that would create or form water okay again according to um, Arrhenius uh, the acid base reaction is the reaction of the proton or a hydrogen ion and a hydroxide ion to form um, water. That is why Arrhenius acid base reaction is simply a neutralization reaction. Because water is neutral. Water has a, a pH level of 7. pH level of 7. Okay, which is neutral or normal so if you can still remember no in your inorganic chemistry um, 7 is the um, neutral level of um, kini ang pH pH level okay uh, 1 here and then the highest pH level is 14 so between 7 to 14 Pag ang isang molecule or isang substance, ang kanyang, um, ang kanyang pH level is between 7 to 14. That means that substance is a base okay? or basic. Basic siya nga substance. Basic. Pag between 1 at saka 7 yung pH level or pH value, ng isang compound or substance that means isa siyang acid okay acid or acidic siyang na compound acid or acidic okay remember that one now let's go to the Bronsted and Lowry definition of acids and bases again let us first familiarize with these terms no um, we have the conjugate base, which is the species that is left over after an acid donates a proton. Okay? It is the species. When we say species here, it's either a molecule, a compound, um, an ion. Okay? It's either a molecule, a compound, a substance, or an ion. Okay? On the other hand, conjugate acid is the species created when when a base accepts a proton that is the conjugate acid and ampotheric also uh, we have to remember that one um, this is having the characteristics of both an acid at saka ng isang base that means uh, they are capable of both donating and accepting a proton again when we, when we talk about a proton here we are referring to the hydrogen ion. Okay? We will talk about proton here. Because it only has a proton. It does not contain an electron. Okay? So, according to Bronsted and Lowry definition of acids and bases, an acid is any substance okay, that can act as a proton donor. While a base is any compound or substance capable of accepting a proton. So, si acid here, according to Bronsted-Lowry definition, is the one that um, 
kini ang nagdonate og proton while si base naman is the one that accepts a proton or nagdawat og proton or um, again pabalik-balik para may hinumduman is uh, when we talk about proton here is hydrogen ion okay so let's say for example in this reaction between um, acetic acid at saka ni water okay so here uh, this compound or this uh, chemical formula here refers to the acetic acid which is our acid in this um, our acid in this uh, kiniang uh, chemical reaction here naman we have water okay which is our base in this reaction. So if you can see here, kung mo ni bantayan, no? If ma encounter niyo ni nga symbol, kini ang half arrow, and then another half arrow sa iba ba na lay-lay slag direction. That means the chemical reaction can be reversed. Okay, meaning in this in this example. Um, acetic acid here at saka ni si water is our reactants. And then si acetate at saka si hydronium is our product. If you are going to reverse that um, that rea chemical reaction we can have acetate here can you see ya? As our acetate at saka ni hydronium as our um, reactants. And then we have acetic acid at saka ni water as our um, products. No? Again, um, this symbol means kini ang the re chemical reaction can be reversed or pwede siya bubalik. No? Okay. So, if we, if we observe the chemical reaction in this kini ang reaction between acetic acid at saka ni water, um, acetate here, kini siya, let me change the color of my pen acetate here can you see is the acetate putang lang ka na ko doon yung acetate acetate okay and this one is the hydronium ion hydronium hydronium Hydro Hydronium Okay, saptan na lang that That is Hydronium So if you can see here you know, um, The products of acetic acid At saka the water is The acetate at saka Si um, Si Hydronium Okay so, if you look at this um, kini ang chemical formula of acetic acid, no? nawala si proton or si hydrogen here. One proton was lost here because it was donated to water, which is our base. Again, according to, um, according to Bronson and Lowry definition, an acid is the one or any substance that donates a proton okay while yung base naman is the one or any substance that accepts a proton in this case si acetic acid yung nag donate ng proton kay kay water which is our base kasi siya yung nag accept ng proton that is why um, ang nangyari is nagkaroon tayo ng hydronium which consists of three atoms or three protons of Hydrogen, okay, kini, because this is from uh, water at saka yung proton na galing kay ax, uh, acetic acid, okay? So, yung tatlo na um, hydrogen atom here comes from uh, one proton from acetic acid, which is the hydrogen, and saka yung dalawang proton or dalawang um, atoms of hydrogen from water. That is why here we can observe the um, hydronium which has three atoms or three protons of hydrogen and saka one atom of oxygen. Now, here naman, si acetate, uh, we can see here that it lacks now the um, proton or hydrogen. No? 
H H three C C O O na lang instead of H three C C O O H. That is why si si um, kini ang acetate here is our conjugate ano na conjugate base. Okay, if you can uh, if we are going to look back no yung key terms natin. Si conjugate base is the species or any molecule, substance that is left over after an acid donates a proton. While si conjugate base naman is the species created when a base accepts a proton. Now, in this example between the reaction of acetic acid at saka ni water, um, si acetate now is the molecule or the substance that is left behind after um, it kini ang it donates a proton so mo nang nawala na si hydrogen proton here it, it's because it was donated to the water molecule and si hydronium naman is our conjugate acid okay si hydronium naman ngayon is our conjugate acid why it's because it is the one or it is the molecule or substance that is created after um, kini ang accepting a proton no? based on the definition of conjugate um, acid. Now remember, in the bronsted lowry definition of acids and bases, and every chemical reaction no, between acid at saka ni base will also create a conjugate base at saka ni conjugate acid. Again, in the bronsted lowry definition of acids and bases, Every reaction between an acid at saka ng base will also form or create a conjugate base at saka ng conjugate acid. Okay? Another example, um, uh, bit, uh, this is a chemical reaction between ammonia at saka, again, ni water. So, um, if you can remember, no, the third term that we need to um, remember in the bronsted lowry definition of acids and bases is the ampotheric, meaning uh, it can act as an acid. When we say ampotheric, it can act as an acid. Okay, ampotheric, ampotheric. Let me write that one. Okay, ampotheric. Okay, when we say ampotheric, it can act as an acid or a base. Now, depending on the um, situation. Now, an, a very good example of an ampotheric substance is water. Okay, even though water is uh, neutral, siya, it can act. No, it can act as an acid at saka as a base. Now, here in the reaction between acetic acid at saka ni water, water here is our base, but this time. In this chemical reaction between ammonia and water, water here is our acid. No? Hindi siya base. Because dito, siya yung base. No? Siya yung base. But here, water is our acid. If you are going to look at the, um, the whole chemical reaction, water here is our acid and ammonia here is our, is our base. Okay, so what happens now? Again, according to the definition of bronsted lowry of acids and bases, an acid is the one that donates um, a proton to another, to another molecule. And um, a base naman is the one that accepts a proton or a hydrogen ion from an acid. So in this case, uh, si water will donate now one hydrogen or one proton of um, hydrogen ion to ammonia. Okay? That is why mayroon tayong um, ammonium in the product. Okay? Ammonium. You can see here, naging four na yung hydrogen um, atom ng um, ammonium. It's because from ammonia, which consists of three hydrogen, no? Plus one hydrogen from, wa from water, it will create now ammonia, which is NH4 from uh, amo rather ammonium NH4 from ammonia, which is 
in H, uh, NH3. And also, um, si water naman is naglose siya ng isang proton ng hydrogen. That means it will also yield or form a hydroxide ion. Okay? So here, si, si ammonium is our conjugate base. Okay? Si ammonium Oh uh, no, si ammonium is our conjugate um, acid. Conjugate acid. Okay. Here ammonium is our conjugate acid and um, hydroxide ion is our conjugate base. Okay? When we say conjugate acid again, uh, this is uh, the molecule or the substance that is created or formed after accepting a proton or a hydrogen ion. While at yung conjugate base naman is the substance or a compound that is left behind after donating a proton. Okay? So, nawala ang isa ka hydrogen here from H2O. Maunang gitawag na lang siya o. Ang nabili na lang or the left behind is um, hydroxide ion. Okay? So, again, um, this Kini ang symbol here, um, the half arrow, no? Na duha ka buhok, uh, facing the opposite side, means that uh, the chemical reaction can be can be reversed. Like say for example, here in the acetic acid and water na reaction, no? Um, the acetate now at saka yung hydronium ion is our reactant. So, here, si acetate is our base. At saka si hydronium naman is our acid. Okay? So, si hydronium here will donate a proton for a hydrogen ion to acetate. Uh, mo lang ang makakreita o hydro or acetic acid. Okay? Uh, Kinisya, gidagangan siya of uh, proton of hydrogen. That is why from H3CCOO, it becomes H3CCOOH. Okay? H. Kagika ni siya kang hydronium na um, proton. That is why makakrita of acetic acid. So here, si acetic acid is our conjugate acid because uh, it is the substance that is created no, after accepting a proton or hydrogen ion based on the Bronsted lorry definition of acids and bases. Um, hydronium naman, because it lose, it lose kini ang one proton of the hydrogen, it will turn to um, water. No? Mubalik siya pagka water. Because nawadaan siya o isa ka hydrogen proton that is why nahimu siyang H2O. Now, water here is now our conjugate base. Okay? So, you have to um, remember that one. An acid is the one that uh, donates a proton or a hydrogen ion, while a base is the one that accepts a proton or a hydrogen ion. Yung conjugate acid naman is the, the substance that is formed after accepting a proton. And si water naman or yung conjugate base naman is the substance that is left behind after after donating a proton. So katong nabilin nga substance, pagkahuman niya o um, donate o proton, uh, mga to siya kitawag na to, nga conjugate base. No? Another example, no? let's say uh, i-reverse na to ang reaction. Let's say ammonium here at saka yung um, hydroxide ion is our reactants. Okay? This will be our reactants. 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 And we have here the products. Products. Say products, mo na siya yung maproduce after a chemical reaction. Uh, so, latan sa nato, dali akarong dali mo maglibo. Uh, Magbasa mo sa PowerPoint, no? 
react react tadi uh, this now again the product for the products okay so in this case now um ammonia or ammonium in h4 in h4 is ammonium is now um one of our reactants at saka si hydroxide ion is now our uh, one of our reactants so si ammonium here is our um is our acid no is our acid at saka si hydroxide ion here is our base Okay. Again, based on the Bronsted Lowry definition of an acid, an acid is the one that donates a proton or hydrogen ion. So, si ammonium here will donate one, okay, one proton of hydrogen to a hydroxide. That is why it will create a water, which is H2O. Okay, hydroxide, one hydrogen, one oxygen na proton. After na nag-accept siya ng isang proton of hydrogen or hydrogen ion, it has now two hydrogen protons at saka isang um, atom of oxygen. That is why nakakreate tayo ng water or H2O. Okay? So, si H2O now becomes our, ano siya na? Okay? Nahim mo na siya ato ang conjugate acid. Okay? Again, pag may untag conjugate acid, it is the substance or a compound that is formed after accepting a proton or hydrogen ion. Now, si ammonia naman or si NH3 is our conjugate, conjugate base because it is the one or it is the substance that is left behind, no? Ngunin nabilin after um, donating a proton. So, money na bilin kang NH4, NH3 na lang. Kaya ang isa ka, H, is gihatag kang OH para maka-create og H2O or duha ka H o isa ka oxygen. Okay? So, you have to remember that one. Again, according to the bronsted lowry definition, masses and bases, an acid is the one that donates a proton while a base is the one that accepts a proton. A conjugate acid, on the other hand, is the uh, substance or compound that is formed after accepting a proton, while the conjugate base is the substance or compound that is left behind after donating a proton. Okay? So, in the bronsted lowry definition of acids and bases, uh, the reaction between acetic, uh, okay, mga na na um, the the acid and base reaction according to Bronsted um, Lowry um, definition is a reaction in which a conjugate base and a conjugate acid are formed. Okay, you have to remember that one. Pag naaganik kay uh, pag naaganik kay makita na conjugate acid at saka conjugate base uh, that definition is based on Bronsted and Lowry a definition of acids and base. So that is one of the Kini ang, kini ang mahitabo if there is a reaction between an acid and base according to Bronson and Lowry. Okay? So, let us talk about now the third um, definition of acids and bases according to Lewis. So, according to Lewis, an acid no, is a substance that accepts a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond while a base is a substance that donates a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. So, do not be, uh, do not be confused with the definition of Lewis at saka ni Bronsted and Lowry. So, Bronsted and Lowry, um, si acid is the one that donates a proton. Okay? But in the Lewis, an acid is the one that accepts a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. In the Bronsted and Lowry naman, si base is the one that is uh, kiniang, uh, the, the one that accepts a proton while in the Lewis definition, a base is a substance or the one that donates a pair of electrons 
to form a covalent bond. For example, here we have ammonia. Okay, we have here in H3, this is ammonia. And then we have uh, hydrogen ion. Okay, so here ammonia donates a pair of electrons to the hydrogen ion, creating ammonium. Okay, so because um, ammonia here is the one who donates um, who donates an ion or a pair of electrons to hydrogen ion, ammonia now is our, saman, based on the definition, is our base, according to the Lewis definition of base. Okay? So, ammonia is our base, and then the hydrogen ion is our um, acid. It's because it is the one who accepts a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. Okay? So, in the Lewis uh, definition of acids and bases, there is no formation no, dili, dili kini ang kinahanglan nga makaform o um, conjugate acid at saka yung conjugate base. Sa kuala to siya nga definition sa Bronsted and Lowry. Again, according to Lewis, an acid is the one who accepts electron pairs, uh, pairs of electrons uh, to form covalent bond, while si base naman is the one or any substance that donates a pair of electrons. Okay, in this case, kini siya, pair of electrons. If you can still remember uh, our our discussion about Lewis symbols, no? Tsaka Lewis structures, no? Katong pagsulat nila. Na yung mga dot-dot, and then kini ang uh, dashes or line. Uh, that means nag-create siya of bond. Okay? Another example here is ammonia at saka boron trifluoride. Here, si ammonia ang nag-donate of a pair of electrons so, to boron trifluoride no? In, to create a covalent bond. That means ammonia now is our base. While si boron trifluoride is the one that accepts uh, the, the pair of electrons from ammonia, that is why si boron trifluoride is our acid. Okay? So, uh, so much of that for uh, Lewis definition of acids and bases. No? Um, kining different ka definition of acids and bases, uh, they do not, kini ang, they do not, dyan eh. Say for example, si Blossed and Larry nga definition, uh, dili but pasabot nga ang definition ni Arrhenius is mali. Okay, di but pasabot nga uh, ang, ang definition ni Lewis is mali. But the Lewis definition of um, acids and bases uh, is more general compared to um, Arrhenius and Chakani Bronsted and Lowry. But uh, this definition does not make um, Bronsted and Lowry and Arrhenius definitions of acids and bases wrong. They are still correct, no? But um, acids and bases nga definition according to Arrhenius and Chakani. Bronze and Lowry are limited. No? Si Lewis is akini ang more general ang yang definition sa acids and bases. Okay? So, in summary, no? Arrhenius um, definition of acid, um, an acid is the one who forms a hydron, hydrogen ions in solutions, while a base is uh, a substance that forms um, hydroxide ions in solutions after uh, dissociating in water. No? Um, according to Bronson and Lowry, si acid na one is the one that donates a proton or a hydrogen ion. Tsaka, yung base naman ni Bronson and Lowry is the one that accepts a proton. While in Lewis, an acid is the one that accepts an electron pair, while a base is the one that donates an electron pair. Okay? So, Acids also, acids and bases also have um, different properties, no? Um, sometimes, no, ang ilang properties is kini ang kabaliktaran, no, from each other. So, acids are aqueous solutions of um, 
kini ang the aqueous solutions of acids are electrolytes that means when we say electrolytes that means they can conduct an electrical current okay so again aqueous solutions of acids are electrolytes they conduct an electrical current okay so ang pagkandak po nila electrical current it depends on how strong an acid no Pag strong kayo ang acid, meaning strong pod, or kini ang mas more ang ilahang pagkandak o electrical current. Acids have sour taste. We say sour um, as loom, like lemons, no? vinegar, suka, and other sour candies um, all contain acids. Um, examples of acid is kini ang ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Um, citric acid, kanang mga acid, gana sa mga citrus, no? mga lemon, mga oranges, no, naalis lang mga acid. And kanang acid bud nga nasa atong tiyan, which is the hydrochloric acid, uh, which has us, helps us to digest our food, uh, is also an example of an acid. Acids uh, changes or change the color of a blue litmus or litmus paper to red, no? From blue to red, that means an acid. Pag ibutang ni mo ang litmus paper uh, into a solution, pag ang blue litmus paper will turn to red, that means uh, that solution is an acid. Okay? Uh, while pinol, pinoptalin turns colorless. Kini si pinoptalin, si litmus paper, o si pinoptalin, they are acid-based indicators. No? When we say, when we tag acid-based indicators, uh, we, we are going to use them, we can identify if a solution or a compound is an acid or a base. Acids react with active metals to yield hydrogen gas. And acids react with bases okay, to produce a salt, compound, and water. So, if you can still remember the definition of Arrhenius, no? Um, the acid-based reaction, according to Arrhenius, will result to or will form into water. Okay? Um, acids are bases, on the other hand, um, in, in an aqueous solution, bases are also electrolytes, meaning uh, makakandak gihapon sila o um, electricity. Bases can be either strong or weak, just as acids can. Okay? Bases often have often have a bitter taste, pait, no, and are found in foods uh, less frequently than acids. Now, um, remember this one, class. If you want to identify a substance, a compound, if it is an acid or if it is a base, please do not taste it or ayaw tilawi ano mahibaluan ni mo, no? Ang mahibaluan ni mo, ayaw yun tilawi ang mga compounds, especially in the laboratory. Ayaw mo pagtilaw-tilaw mga compounds or solutions, no? Kay, tungod kay curious mo kung acid ba siya or base, kay pwede ninyo na ikamatay, no? Kung curious mo, um, if a solution is an acid or a base, use litmus paper or pinoptalin, no? Ayaw mo pagtilaw-tilaw, Okay? So, many bases like soaps, mga sabon, are slippery to the touch, no? So, ang mga sabon na itong ginagamit, they are base. Bases also change the color of red litmus to blue litmus in the presence of a base, no? Kabaliktaran, kagaina si acid, pag mo siyang uh, kuanan o litmus, si blue litmus may himong red, but here, si red litmus may himong blue if there is a presence of a base. While si pinoptalin naman will turn into pink. Again, pinoptalin at saka litmus, they are acid-base indicators. Um, bases also, kiniang, they do not react with metals like uh, the way acids did. Okay? So, they do not react with metals to form um, hydrogen um, gases no? like acids. Bases react with acids, no? Parehas kang kagaina. Bases react with acids to produce salt and water. This is based on the Arrhenius um, acid-base reaction. It will form a water 
from um, hydrogen ions at saka yung hydroxide ions natin. Okay, so those are the um, different definitions and properties of acids and bases. Okay, so this time I will also um, include in this recorded video yung gagawin yung um, virtual laboratory activity. Okay, so let me um, go to Google. So this activity is kini ang nakinahang lang yun siya o um, kusog kusog na signal, no? So there's there's kini ang kini ang dili na lang siya butangan o deadline, no? Mas na ang deadline ani is um, after the final exam. Pag wala gihapon ka ani, that means dilit na nakabutangan og score for this activity. No, mo, mo consider ko kay base no ah, hinay di kayo yung, yung signal. Um, that is why dilit na ko sa butangan og deadline up until uh, the final exam of our um, subject, no? Para kadtong mga nasa nagyong dapit nga hinay kayo ang signal pag makadumo og mga kusog-kusog na signal you can do this activity okay but uh, this activity naman is very simple no you just have to um, follow the instructions and then mahuman uh, na dayon ka uh, it is good for i guess 20 to 30 minutes lang or less no uh, depende sa imuhang pag follow sa instructions so all you have to do is to go to your uh, search bar ng Google um, search engine. Uh, look for Labster. Okay, Labster. And then .com. So, Labster.com is kini ang mga simulations ni siya about laboratories, no? But, naa siya bayad, no? However, naa siya free nga kini ang simulation which is kato inyong buhaton no so if you are now in the website of labster just click try labster now okay ma access po nimo ni siya nga website if you are using a mobile phone or kini ang android phone so just click try labster now and then uh, fill in lang ang mga information nga ilang gipangayo first name okay Email, phone, institution type, college, slash university, um, ASCAT lang, institution name, country, of course, Philippines. Uh, pero kung nakakaroon sa Iraq, uh, pwede na pwede mo ibutang ang Iraq. Kung nakakaroon sa Iraq. Philippines, Philippines. Position, uh, just put student, no? kung kay student man mo, in my case, I am an instructor, so instructor ako ibutang. By the way, you can do this again and again uh, even though wala mo nagbayad. So, email opt-in, click lang ni mo ang no para delete sila sa gig email sa imuhang email. Then, click submit. Okay, thank you for submission. We will contact you shortly and then it will direct you now to the um, katong lab safety na simulation nila which is free. So, ito lang yung gagawin ninyo. So, this time, um, let us wait na lang na mag-load siya. No? Um, ayaw po mo pag-open, no? If you are going to read here, uh, ayaw mo pag-open o ka ng another tab para mag-continue ang iyahang pag-loading. Okay, o mag-open mo ang another tab, it will stop the loading of this um, tab or kiniyang website. So, nakinahang na siya. No? Okay, ang kusog-kusog na signal. So, you just have to wait na lang yun. You just have to wait. Then, after that, um, after na mo makasunod sa lab safety, na simulation, virtual simulation, is kini ang just um, follow the instructions no? para mahuman ni mong activity. Again, uh, at best, you will finish this activity within 20 minutes. So, paabot ko lang nato, no? Nga mag-load din siya up until uh, 100%.
Okay, so it is fully loaded na. So we can now start, no? Just click start para makasugod na mo sa inyo. Welcome to the lab safety simulation. I am Dr. One, your AI lab assistant. Today, you will learn everything you need to know to survive your first day in the lab. Are you ready for the challenge? This simulation uses voiceovers. If you don't have audio, click the speaker symbol on the top right of your lab pad to switch the play mode. If you disable the sound effects the lab pad will slide up whenever there are instructions to read. You can select what type of audio you prefer, deselecting any of the options will mute that option. Click continue to learn how to navigate through your mission. Okay, so as you can see here in the um, in the screen, uh, makikita nyo dito yung score, no? 0 out of 110. So every time na makafinish kayo ng task na uh, pinapagawa sa inyo, mag add up yun dito sa scores nyo. And then yung scores nyo dito will be the one uh, kinyang, will be the scores of your um, activity for this activity. So after this activity, you have to take a screenshot of your score and then you are going to send it in um, our Google Classroom. Okay? So if you click continue... Using the lab pad is an important way to get the most out of this simulation. This is your lab okay. pad. Use the lab pad at any time to access relevant theory about the lab, or additional instructions on what to do next. Well, you can interact with highlighted objects. Arrows help you in finding their location. Now click on the corner of your lab pad to raise it. If you are going to open the door, just click that one and click open. Then we have lab coat, no? Chaka yung safety goggles. Uh, in which ipapasuot niya sa inyo. So, again, click on the lab do, pad for more information. Um, all you have to do in this um, activity is to follow the instruction. Okay? You follow lang ang instruction ni Dr. Wan. So, after that, again, you have to take a screenshot of your score. Okay, mo na ang kung saan yung score aning activity in this virtual activity will also be your score in our lab activity. Okay? So that's it. Um, I hope na samtan ang um, uh, itong discussion about assets and bases at saka this laboratory activity that you are going to do. So that's it class. Uh, thank you for uh, listening and thank you for learning from this recorded video. Bye!